Ah, doesn't it just seem so nice hearing that music? Welcome your faces to the one and only Jurassic World Evolution. If you guys don't know what the game is, it is a city builder style game set in the Jurassic World kind of universe. The overall premise of the game is to attract people to your park. So similar to Zoo Tycoon in the past, there's profits, there's different buildings that you can build and spend on, and you actually have to go search for genomes and create different types of dinosaurs. It's really, really cool, and it stays very true to the movie. So let's hop right in and let's enjoy the game for what it is. Okay, this is as good a place as any to begin. Isla Matanceros. It's relatively stable. Yeah, you can, uh, you can get your feet wet here. And you should, because diving into the deep end of the pool is where the big, angry, hungry things are. And uh, you want to be ready before you try that. So we're in the game. Oh my so god, this is strange. everything I wanted it to be. Again, the machinations of the ambitious... Hi, Jeff Goldblum. Playing with nature's laws. How are you? You're handsome. What can possibly go wrong? Come on, doctor. You know we've learned so Cabot much Finch, okay. and invested even more in our Jurassic operations since the last time. Yes, Mr. Finch. Yes, the the last time. There's always a last time. Oh, we start with two point five million dollars. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I guess this is going to be some type of a tutorial. If you want to read what they're I'm saying, top right corner. Crisis management, and I'm here to help you. Let's I do have to mention that this game is early access right now, very, very pre-alpha, so things are subject to change. Just so you know, I just want to make sure that you guys know that there are some placeholder stuff in the game. Got a small power station here. Look at that. Ooh. Looks nice. Looks like a power station. What a power station would look like, right? Him and Creation Lab. Okay. I see the enclosure. Looks pretty nice. Just kidding. I like it. Uh, but okay. Seriously. So we're going to put the creation lab right here. I actually played the game a little bit before. Not too far into it, though. So if we go ahead and do the creation lab, obviously you can see the walls, the feeders, etc., etc., that are available as well. We're going to place this, and that's going to be the place where we raise our dinosaurs from an egg. And then they will go inside of the uh, facility that's fenced in right here. One of the coolest things is definitely that animation for building stuff. It's much, much simpler and cooler than just like having it plop down on the ground. And then we gotta, of course, attach the road as well. Um, because the power grid follows the road. So let's do that real fast. And there we go. That works. We could obviously, obviously like do things a little bit differently to like fix with uh, foot traffic, but for right now, I don't think people are going into there. That's more of like scientists and whatnot, so. Not so little egg. Get one by clicking on the lab and then selecting an egg slot. There should be enough genome data for a viable. So this is where you incubate. There's two different hatching bays. When you click incubate, you can choose a different dinosaur or creature. But as of right now, we only have one, which is the Struthus of some physical mimus, and we're gonna incubate for thirty thousand dollars. It's gonna take a little bit of time, and then he's gonna be released into this kind of area over here. Brings in capital. Money, huh? Which means you can do more research to build better facilities. And as you can tell, he has an attack, defense, lifespan, resilience, viability, and I think there's also skins that you can get for each dinosaur as well to make them look really cool. So that's also a bonus. So dinosaur is ready to release. Let's go ahead and release him. And then the camera's gonna zoom down and actually follow him, which is really, really awesome. So this is about as far as I got before, so everything after this, I have no idea what I'm doing, so keep that in mind. But, uh, the graphics in this game are just beautifully wonderful. It begins. The most precious moment. The result of incalculable actions and reactions, trials and errors, genetic mutations. Look at him. He's so cute. Chaos, all He's running. Look at his little arms. He's so cute. Being. An entity. Distinct. Oh my goodness. And he's got like this little area to roam around. He's got his own little environment. Just now he's eating some grass. So well done. Oh my I goodness. <gasps> Hi. Hi. Oh, he's drinking water. I didn't even realize that. So if you look at this stuff as well, 
There's a rating for him, his age, it tells you when he's gonna die, which is really, really freaking sad, and that's how old he is right there. And this is habitat, social, water, food, health, you need to make sure he actually, like, drinks water, eats correctly. You need to put down these feeding pods and whatnot. Um, we're probably gonna do that later, the though. Hammond Foundation has three main areas of interest. Security, entertainment... That's the entrance, right? So, okay, that's where the... Okay, this is where they're gonna come in. Okay. Wonderful. They'll offer I don't know what they're saying. Incentives for you to be part of their team. Choose one of their contracts. It'll help okay. You develop your so the contract thing, I was told by uh, the people that if I want the cool stuff, go entertainment. Entertainment's the cooler stuff right away. So we're gonna go entertainment. Um, security's kind of lame. So why would we go security, right? Uh, cash reward ten thousand. Construct power connect expedition center to the place of the, the expedition center. Will allow you to send. Okay, that makes sense. And we're going to get entertainment, $10,000, build, empower, and expedition center. So, I don't know how far we're going to get into that. We only have a limited amount of time with the game, unfortunately. So, we'll see what happens. I agree. What is this? Fossil center? Okay. Fill up our facilities with warm bodies. Operations, expedition center. Opportunities. Research, Ranger Station, Accu Center, Storm Defense Station. Whoa, so you can get Storm, Science, Innovation Center, Security Center. There's a lot of stuff, man. Holy crap. So let's do the Expedition Center. That's what it wants us to do, but we need to find a location where it works. Um, this doesn't seem to make it work at all. Maybe we got to rotate it? How do we rotate? I'm going to just move it over here. It'll be better, but we need the road to kind of face the road, so let's go ahead and spin this around, right? X, there we go. Perfect. Eh, that's actually better. Let's do that. That's really close to the road and perfect. And then we see this really cool animation. We can build our little road. And we're good. Extracted from these fossils, which our scientists can then turn into living, breathing dinosaurs. And that's our true lifeblood. So one more thing. Your reputation. Your rep, quote unquote. Keep an eye on it, okay? If you have a solid reputation with a division, you're more this like thing is so cool. Like I said, it's just so much cooler than like plopping an item down. Ooh, a helicopter. <sighs> I heard you can actually fly these things. I, 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 we should be able to fly one later. I don't think this is the station where you can fly them, though. So let's get into the expeditions. Uh, the expedition center can send dig teams around the world to find dinosaur things. Available dig sites. The expedition center will display and ready to send it up to dig team. Okay, so we need to send out dig teams in order to get genomes. And these are the different types of areas. This is to Portugal. That's the Ceratosaurus. So just look at the expansiveness of this. What what happened? Uh-oh. What did I do? Acquire 50% genome of the Ceratosaurus. Okay. One million dollar reward. Holy crap. Okay. Come on and help the winning team. Mine. Awesome, dude. So where's the Ceratosaurus? Commonly found species. Right. Look, I am that one. No, sure. no. These no. It, it was Portugal, right? One, Go back to Portugal. Yeah, okay. I'm an idiot. So that's going to cost $30,000. And now we send an expedition team off to go and dig up this, this yeah, genome, you know, what I'm saying which is, is really, really awesome. All right. In the hopper. I don't think there's anything else we can do in here. Is there? Yeah, no. The helicopter's gone. That's funny. Okay, so he actually, like, took off. So I've been meaning to look at this control room. I don't really know what it is. So it looks like we have an item rating. Those are the different ratings, like security, entertainment, and science. We have different missions here. This is what we're currently trying to do. Finances. So that's telling us, like, what we're making, what we're spending, which we're not doing too good right now. And these are new contracts if we wanted to do, like, the separate quests that we didn't click on. So in research. Okay, it looks like you can learn a whole bunch of new stuff. Closures, buildings, building upgrades, medical treatment, genetic research, fossils, okay. And then this is something that they also mentioned to me. This is really cool. So if you guys know, like, the thing from Ark where you discover the dinosaurs and then they get unlocked in, like, your escape menu, this is kind of a very similar thing to that. So as you unlock these genomes and unlock all these different types of dinosaurs and creatures, this thing will fill out. Same with the different dig sites. So, like, if you're a 100%er, this is kind of for you. Same with the uh, paleontology, uh, the different types of genes that are kind of like upgrades and stuff for your different creatures. 
and uh, locations that you can visit from the movies, which is also really cool if you really are into like the Jurassic World movies and whatnot. And then the archive, which discusses the characters that you've already like known and love in the game. Um, and it's just kind of a really cool addition to the game to kind of get you into the movies and stuff a little bit more. So let's keep on going on. And it seems like we need to acquire 50% more genome. But for the time being, I think we need to wait a little while and wait for that helicopter return. So for the time being, um, we might need more power. Do we though? I don't think so. What else do we have? We have a hotel emergency shelter. Let's do it. I kind of want to do a hotel, right? Cause if we're an entertainment place, we need to make sure people have somewhere to stay. And look at this freaking hotel. I'd want to stay there. And I want to see maybe if we can get it right there is good. Right next to the little substation. And then people could be on the back side of the hotel and they could see the dinosaurs. I think they'll like that. I think they'll like that a lot. Emergency sensor shelter would be smart as well, but eh, who needs to do that? And this is also really, really cool. By the way, I'm just pushing random buttons to, sign, to, to find out what they do, but this seems like it kind of gives us an overall view of the map to tell us everything. And uh, here's our little boy, and we're going to rename him, and you guys know what we're going to rename him. We're going to rename him Fluffy. We have to. We absolutely have to. It's our first creature, our first dinosaur in the game. I guess we could have gone with Zoolander, but I'll go with Fluffly, because Fluffly is a much more known name for the game, I would say, or for my channel. So he's doing okay. He seems like he's doing all right. Habitat, social, water, social. So he needs some friends. He's a pack animal. But he really likes his habitat a lot. So that's good. But I think we definitely need to get ourselves some social. He also is getting a little hungry, but we'll figure that out later. Right now, he's not exactly hungry. So um, maybe we can work on maybe spawning him a friend of some sort. Or we can just completely ignore the fact about that for right now. Because I really, really want to get this Ceratosaurus. Which I'm probably pronouncing completely incorrect. Um, we forgot the path as well for this, so let's just do that real fast as well. Hotel is now created. Or is in the process of creating. Again, this really, really cool animation. Probably one of my favorite little things about the game. I'd say so, at least. And, uh, our power is still good, I think. Do we need a power? It's way too much money. I can't do a power station right now. It's too expensive. I only have 1.4 million. I can't do half a million in a freaking power center. But our power seems pretty okay. I don't know what these other things are. Weather? Okay. Weather, power, and uh, our power seems fine. Power seems fine. And then we have these little circles. Okay, so I see. So the substations give it circles that are going to actually put uh, your buildings in range of the circles to do it. So we have weather. We have shelter. We have dinosaur visibility. We have show financial information. Dinosaur visibility, there's none. It's not giving me any from the hotel, unfortunately. That kind of stinks. Finances, transport, fun, shopping, drink, and food. So you can see that's all the like the little things that you guys need to min-max in the game in order to do well. The helicopter's back. Okay, so let's go view the expedition map. Oh, wait, do we need to? No, we don't need to. We should be able to just go... What do we need to do? The fossil center? Now that we have the genomes? Yeah, 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 yeah. Whoa, okay. Extract fossils to build genomes for each dinosaur. Extracting enough allows you to create the dinosaur. Expedition teams sometimes bring about extra that you can sell for cash. Okay. So we need to learn the each percentages of the different fossils. That's one that we can sell. These are the ones that we can extract. Um, This is the Ceratosaurus. We want to extract that one. Definitely. But it's only going to give us, what, 28%? And then this will give us 28% as well. Is that enough? Well, that's going to take some time, so we're going to queue it up, I guess. Yeah, queue it up. Let's do that. And then we'll queue up... Oh, that's more Ceratosaurus! I didn't even realize. Why is that more Ceratosaurus? That's weird. Okay, well, let's queue it up anyway. And let's just queue up all of them, because why not? We might as well, and then we'll just sell the silver that we found in order to get a little bit of cash. And, uh... That should do it. 1.5 million. We got a whole bunch of different dinosaurs coming in. And uh, there we go. Mission accomplished. Mission accomplished. So what else do we need to do now? We have the genome. We have everything. Um, we can go over and we can begin to unleash big Edie boy on everybody. But I'm also concerned if there's anybody even coming in. <gasps> our first person. Our first person, guys. <gasps> we have our first park visitor. 
What's his name? Can I check his name? I can't check his name. That's unfortunate. But he's the first one. Is there more anywhere? No, he's literally the first one. That's pretty dope. All right. So with this, there's a whole bunch of other stuff. I really should feed my guy soon. But a viewing gallery also sounds really good. Now that we have visitors, we're going to need to have viewing galleries for the visitors. Um, it's within power range right there. Is there a better spot maybe over here? No. We'll do within the power range. Oh, I completely misclicked that. Oh, well. We're just going to have to add another power substation here. Let's do a big giant road all the way back. To the main road. That way people can get to the viewing platform. There we go. Wonderful. So there, now all my visitors, my two visitors, can go to the viewing platform. Oh, new view. <gasps> oh, guys, it's time. It is time for worse. us to begin hatching the Ceratosaurus. $870,000. You're down the drain, but is it really? I don't think it really is. Here it comes, guys. <laughs> 